Hey guys, it's Latana with Lady Print Boss Training. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your font issue or user interface issue with Divin in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're a YouTuber or want to be a YouTuber or you do video editing, you could use DaVinci Resolve. It's a free program. But the problem I'm having today is that the fonts are really, really small. So I'm going to show you how to fix your fonts if you're having that problem. You want to go to, you want to go over to Resolve and right click on the pretty colorful one. Click on Properties and go over to Compatibility. Under Compatibility, look for Change High DPI Settings. Here you want to have this checked and under advanced scaling you want to change this. Now I've got this set to 175. Okay and then I'm just going to close that and you want to say when I open the program not when you sign into Windows but when you open the program you want this button checked override high DPI scaling behavior and you want to say by performed by the system. This will help you to um, reset that user interface so that everything is nice and big where you can see it. Um, sometimes people have the exact opposite problem which is it being too big and then you would go in and you would change that stuff that I told you. So after you do this you have to restart the system. But I've got to cut off my Adobe, uh, my OBS Studio, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. OBS Studio is uh, a program that I use to edit my videos and record, so don't pay that any attention. Let me make that small, and let's go back over here and fix this Resolve issue. So before I open it up, I'm just going to right-click it. Well, I tried to right-click it, but it looks like I opened it up. Um, I'm going to right-click it and just go back in and check and make sure that those settings are correct. And they're still set how I want them to be. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And then I'm going to double-click and try to open up this Resolve and see how it opens up. Normally it opens up with a really small splash so if it opens up with a nice big splash then I'm good to go. It's huge and it may be too big so I may go back in and change where I put 175. You can change that to about 150 but you know you play with it and figure out what works best for you. It takes it a minute to open up on my computer because I'm only using 8 gigs right now. But once it opens up, we should have a nice, big, bold interface. For some reason, they don't have this set up in DaVinci Resolve where you can actually change the font size or change the background, all of that stuff. I don't know why. Maybe it's in the paid version. I don't think so. Um, I have searched for months trying to figure this out, and I remembered... That I could do that on my Corel Draw program, so that made me come in and do this. But if you use DaVinci Resolve, you'll notice how big this is. You see how big it is now. And so, let's say if I want to open up a project, go in and open it up and show you how big the user interface is now. Boom! Okay, so here's my user interface videos. I guess. Over here to um, video area, all of that. So it's nice and big now. When I go in here, and um, you can change the sides. You can once you open this up, you know you could do different things with your workspace. You can go in because it's got different panels. Um, the only thing that I have checked is my media pool because I do like to pull my media out of here 
and everything else I pretty much have turned off so you could go in and play with these settings um, play with your user face interface make this you know bigger smaller whatever you want it to be and then um, just play around with it get it how you want it to be and then you go here and click on uh, presets and then go in here and just uh, load a preset or you know say, save I'm sorry save your layout as your preset and you're done but that's the only way that I found to change the user interface the other thing you may notice is that my interface is not as dark as it was and what I as as it comes in you know with the factory so what I did is I went over to DaVinci Resolve here and under preferences the only thing I could find uh, that I could do was to use a gray background interface and so I checked these two buttons you could also one other thing I found that you can do here uh, in Resolve is you could automatically load the last project that you're working on if you want to um, and there are some other things over here that you could do that you could go through that's not what this video is about anyways if you like the video give me a thumbs up and I hope that this helps you with your problems uh, with DaVinci Resolve and now I can go ahead and create my calibration video thanks for watching